Hey YouTubers and RV fans, today on Paddy Wagon Travels, we're going to be talking about my Midwest summer tour, RV repairs, and why it's taken me so long to put up a video. Stay tuned. Right. As most of you know, um, I was in Knoxville when my Midwest summer tour began, and the whole reason I was in Knoxville was to see my daughter, uh, and then I was heading up to the Midwest. Now, the reason I was going to the Midwest was because I was traveling with Mike and Dawn, and I had an appointment with Decatur um, um, in the RV Rev Group. So I was going to get the awning repaired and have some other you know, miscellaneous maintenance done on the RV. But the appointment was four months out, plus... I had a work um, engagement that I needed to be in Chicago. So I decided that I was going to do a Midwest summer tour because I really had never been anywhere in the Midwest other than Indiana and only for a very brief period of time. So I left Knoxville visiting with Jessica. I had a great time. So while I was in Knoxville, I got to visit with Jessica and we went to a brewery party or some kind of brewery festival, which was really cool. And then lo and behold, Mike and Dawn called me and they decided to meet up with me in Knoxville in preparation for our trip to Ohio. So we got to spend a week with Mike and Dawn um, in, um, in Knoxville and then we hit the road heading for um, Middlebury, Ohio to us to a campground called Huggy Bear. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. If you've ever been to um, a um, campground on steroids, that would be Huggy Bear in Middle Point, Ohio. This place was unbelievable. First of all, you really got to see the culture um, of the people in Ohio, which was amazing. Incredibly family-oriented and loved to have their downtime from work. And so they would all pile into Huggy Bear either late Thursday night or Friday and the place would be mobbed and I've never seen so many golf carts in my life and different kinds of golf carts but Huggy Bear was a wonderful um, wonderful time and we stayed there for probably a little over a month I think we were there over Memorial Day and I think we were there over the 4th of July and then we headed out to Roscommon Michigan now Mike had some friends up in Roscommon Michigan and we stayed at the Bambi Lakes um, Christian Retreat uh, in Ross Common, and that was awesome. And talk about being out in the middle of nowhere in the country uh, in this beautiful, beautiful retreat that had everything. So it was a wonderful, we were there for about three weeks, I think. And then from there, we left and headed down towards Indiana. Uh, Mike and Dawn had to get repairs um, in Elkhart on their RV, and I needed to get repairs in Decatur. So, um, but in the meantime, during all this period of time, I got to meet a lot of Dawn's family, which was wonderful. Now, you got to remember, Mike and Dawn and I have been traveling together now for a little over a year. They've met my family in Louisiana. They haven't met my Florida family yet. I've met Mike's family out in Austin, uh, and they are amazing people in Austin. Such great, great, great people. And then I get to meet Dawn's family in Ohio. <music>
to meet Pat and her friend Cheryl, and of course, um, uh, Jeannie and uh, Mike and the kids. Um, we actually got to attend um, one of the kids' graduation, and that was awesome. And I think, too, you probably saw Veronica in the Ohio State Reformatory video. And um, um, Veronica is a ghost hunter and really, really enjoyed um, showing me around the Ohio Reformatory. That was an awesome place. If you haven't checked out that video, I'll, I'll link it here. So definitely take a look at that video. What was a real surprise when we were in Ohio is Kenny and Sabrina for Moving Forward Adventures. They came out to visit for a weekend, which, you know, it's always awesome to see Kenny and Sabrina. Who doesn't love them? They're like these incredible um, RVers that are, are scooting from, you know, coast to coast. Uh, you never know where they're going to be or where they're going to show up. And it was wonderful to have an opportunity to spend time with them. So uh, Kenny and Sabrina, if you're watching, thanks so much for hanging out with us in um, Middle Point, Ohio. Jeez, who would have figured? I think one of the amazing benefits of this RV life is that you never know who you're gonna run into. Um, people that you've met maybe out in Quartzsite or at some other RV parks um, or in your travels along the way, even people that you meet boondocking at Walmart. The next thing you know, you show up and who's parked next to you is those same people. You, you've gotta love that lifestyle and these are some amazing people. I have yet to run into um, an RVer that I did not care for. So, um, you know what, this is what it's about. And so it's very exciting to be on the road and, and seeing people that, and, and creating relationships and forming friendships. Um, you know, that's one of the side benefits, I think, of being an RVer, but more importantly too for me, that's one of the side benefits, I think, of having my YouTube channel. Um, it gives people the opportunity to reach out and, um, and spend some time. And so uh, for those of you watching who are new to my channel, I hope to meet up with you one day and um, wouldn't that be cool? So. Again, along that line, um, I was in Ohio for um, several weeks, and I have been watching um, that Nate guy on YouTube, and he is in Ohio. Um, he's in, I don't know, Can uh, Can uh, Canton, I think, Canton, Ohio. And so I reached out to him and said, hey, I'm in Ohio for a few weeks, you know, um, love to uh, meet up and talk a little bit about, you know, your channel and, you know, YouTube and um, whatnot. And so he's like, yeah, definitely. And so um, I got a chance to meet uh, Nate from um, that YouTube, Nate, that YouTube guy. I can't ever remember his channel name, but I'm going to link it right here. So if you haven't had a chance to see that video, definitely. Nate is a full-time wannabe. Um, he will be going full time in the RV sometime in the future, um, but was so excited to tour the rig and actually feature the RV on his channel. Um, I've been following Nate now for a little over a year, and if you haven't subscribed to his channel, this guy is awesome. So he's got all kinds of different interests. He does a Nate in the morning um, daily video. He's doing barn chasing right now which is the Ohio Bicentennial Barns in Ohio, obviously. And, uh, and that is cool because it's really all about the journey and uh, all the different things that happens on his way to find a barn. And then when he finally finds it, it's the challenge of you know, getting in there and, and, and not you know, trespassing and not getting chewed up by dogs or pooped on by cows or run over by horses. So um, if you have a chance to uh, take a look at his barn series, please do. So after we left Ohio and we went to Michigan, uh, Mike and Don and I uh, and Alex took the opportunity to go up um, over the um, Mackinac Bridge, which was cool. I did a live stream, which it really didn't turn out too well because you know the cell signal up there was pretty pretty light. But we went over to the Upper Peninsula and hung out there for the day and got to eat pasties or pasties or I, I wasn't real fond of them, but um, that's where we had the hashtag um, gravy on the tailgate because we were dripping gravy all over the tailgate of the truck while we're eating these things. But according to the history of pasties or pasties, um, th these are a, um, a British um, concoction, um, apparently for guys that were working uh, in the mines or something up in Michigan who wanted something uh, warm and, and, and filling. And I guess the pasties of the pasties were born. Um, I don't even remember what's in them, but nonetheless, it was a wonderful time hanging out in the Upper Peninsula. We didn't get a chance to go to Lake Superior, but um, you know, and then back to Ohio, had an opportunity to go sailing on Lake Michigan. Um, I did put a small video up on that, and um, sailing on Lake Michigan was awesome. Um, I had been deep sea fishing, and I was hurling my guts over the side of the boat. Surprisingly enough, on the sailboat, I did actually pretty well and, and didn't hurl chunks or anything. So anyway, I always thank Mike and his friends for uh, a really amazing time. And I met my, uh, my new friend, Mike Conway, and some other friends that... Um, 
uh, that Mike Gondek knows. Uh, and again, I'm looking forward to seeing them again and maybe getting back out of Lake Michigan next year. We'll see. I'm not sure I'm going to spend the whole summer in the Midwest next year, but um, it would be nice to get back on Lake Michigan. And Lake Michigan is gorgeous. Uh, I'm sure you've seen my intro that has the um, the lighthouse and the waves. And that was taken, that's a little grainy, and it was taken in the evening. But it was truly uh, uh, um, beautiful up there. And uh, what a fun time. So once all the fun was done, it was unfortunately time to leave and head to Decatur, um, Indiana. Here we are walking back to the Rev Group waiting area. And I have to tell you, they have a very nice space for work. I'll show you that in just a minute because I have my whole mobile office set up. They pulled in about 20 RVs this morning. So there's a lot of empty spots, but last night when we got here, this place was booming. The waiting room's packed. There's a nice upstairs lounge here in Decatur, Indiana. in the service center uh, parking lot that had 30 amp and 50 amp hookups. What I was most shocked about truthfully was all of these amazingly beautiful brand new RVs. Um, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of two, three, four hundred thousand dollar rigs that were sitting in the same parking lot I was because of the amount of repairs that they needed to have. Um, had the opportunity to speak to some of those folks who were doing what I was doing in boondocking. Well, I guess we weren't boondocking, we were parking in the service center in Decatur. And uh, some of the stories were unbelievable. In fact, some of them were just downright frightening to think that you would put, you know, two, three, or four hundred thousand dollars into an RV and just have the amount of issues that some of these people had. Um, the Rev Group has been awesome, though, I have to tell you. Um, they did a great job repairing my RV. Um, one of the things that I didn't get, though, and one of the things that was kind of irritating to me, or not kind of, it was very irritating to me, was they, when I got up to um, Decatur and I pulled into the service area, um, they said that they needed to order parts. Now, I had an appointment for five months, and they knew exactly what um, parts I needed, and um, but just nobody ever ordered them, which was going to necessitate a fi additional five days staying in Decatur. Well, I had doctor's appointments and I was having some minor health issues that I needed to get back to Louisiana. So there was no opportunity for me to stay. Um, but I did reach out to um, the Rev Group and to um, uh, Fleetwood directly and they did send me the parts in, uh, in Louisiana. I'm getting ready to take the RV up to Deep South Truck and RV Center in Karen Crow, um, Louisiana and they're going to do the repairs for me. So subsequent to the awning issue, um, the horizontal seam on the roof began to break away from the, um, um, the rivets failed. So that needs to be repaired now. And of course the um, water pump has decided that it's gonna go on the fritz and it needs to be repaired. We're also gonna be doing some suspension work um, because I really need to be able to tow the F-150. And right now I get a slight sway in the um, back of the RV when I'm towing. So um, we're gonna see if we can beef up the suspension a little bit and put some beefier sway bars and a beefier um, uh, stabilizer in the back. Um, you know, you know, when I first took the, bought the RV, I went down and got the um, front end alignment done and that made the world a difference. So I'm hoping that the suspension work that we're doing in, um, um, with Deep South is also gonna help. Now the guy in Deep South says that it may just be the adjustment on my um, my Blue Ox tow bar. I'm not really certain about that at this point, but we'll see. So as most of you know, it's been my goal to put up a video at least once a week, if not more than that, and I'm going to endeavor to do that more in the future. Um, you know, I share what it is that I share, 
And what happened when I got down here is I needed to go to the doctor and I had some minor health issues that have since been resolved. Uh, despite my hoarse throat because I'm, um, I think I'm catching a cold. Um, but they have been resolved and I'm ready to get back on the road. I'm ready to get moving. And so there's some interesting things that are going to be happening on the channel. If you're watching my Facebook page and my Instagram page, you've already seen it. But I'll be introducing you to my new travel partner uh, coming up in the next video. So stay tuned. And you know what? Thanks for hanging around. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking the video. And it's wonderful to take you with me on this travel adventure. If you go back to when I first went live, um, you know, as a full-time RVer, one of the things I said at that point was it was amazing having the support of 669 subscribers along the way. And today I can honestly say I feel that same support from well over 2,500 subscribers. And so I want to grow the channel to as high as we can get it. Let's get to 15,000 subscribers and let's move this thing along. And of course, on my part, that means I got to start putting up more content and I will. You tell your friends about Paddy Wagon Travels and um, I'll see you guys on the road.